Welcome to Framework Fortune Crypto. I'm your host, Ben, and we got no time to waste. Let's dive into today's crypto update. So Bitcoin holding over the past week, week and a half here of this 38,000 area, actually getting a pop back up, testing 40,000 currently as I'm recording this. We go into a smaller time frame, we can see where Bitcoin just broke over the 200 day moving average. So if it can break 40,000, Bitcoin might be going back bullish. So Jerome Powell and the Federal Reserve announced today a half percent rate hike. This is not going to really do much to inflation, but we're seeing some rebounds across a lot of the markets, especially the crypto market. Ethereum having a strong bounce off of this trend line that we've been watching as well today, coming up to test 3,000. Ethereum breaks 3,000 be looking for that big break new bullish altcoin run to be coming here very very soon within the next month or two now if ethereum does not push back up and gets rejected about halfway say at 3000 it cannot break 3000 then there's a good possibility we see ethereum drop we'll just have to see over the next week if it continues to push but it looks like it is going to with that push in ethereum as i've been saying gods and imx are just following ethereum so gods has rebounded off of that 75 cent area pushing up to 85 cents i checked yesterday on livecoinwatch.com there are around 10,000 holders of gods tokens now but around 25,000 holders of Immutable X IMX token. And IMX never had that drop like Gods did here in this last month. Instead, it's about to break its downtrend that it's been on. It tried to break it back here and looked like it was going to, but then we got slammed with uh, the war and all this other stuff. And it's just caused so much economic turmoil in all of the markets. But through all that, Immutable X has stayed diligent and has continued to develop and build, as well as God's pushing the new Mortal Judgment set and staking for both of these, as I've been saying, should be out very soon. This could all just be part of the Ethereum Bitcoin rebound. It could be short-lived, or some of it could be from the staking coming soon. People are going to want to buy it and $1.50, as I've been saying, is not a terrible price for IMX from where it opened at way back here at the beginning of the year. Other NFT plays, Olivium, breaking back up above 500, has a inverse head and shoulders pattern here. If we blow this up on the chart, there's your head, shoulder, shoulder. So usually that break happens something like that. You now Adam the Cosmos ecosystem got way down there, that 1750, but is already shot back up today, testing $20 right now. So if Cosmos starts holding $20 again, this could just be a little short dip out of this trend line, and we could see it possibly pop back up there. It's a, it's quite a ways away from that 200, and in the past, anytime. It's gotten away from this red 200 moving average line. It tries to pull back to it. So we're pretty far down there. Uh, we should see some type of rebound. Maybe, maybe back up to 22 over the next couple of days. Maybe 25. Cosmos, when it gets buyers, can get going. And then if we look at the Cosmos ecosystem coins, Juno's up 14%, having a nice rebound. Osmosis up 7%. Iris up 9, Crow up 7%, a lot of those doing okay, except for Persistence, just barely up 0.3% today. Biggest gainer on my list, look at here, PKT Cash, and I have been talking about PKT Cash non-stop, looks like it may be trying to break out here for a possible... Uh, move to the upside. Caleb, the developer, lead developer and creator of CGDNS Technology, has been doing several AMAs. I'm trying to get him to come do an interview with us at Framework Fortune. 
Caleb, if you watching this, come holler at us. And I will be covering a lot more PKT content coming in the next few weeks, including an intro of how to actually set up the PKT miner and go through that whole process. But this was a very nice buy and spike today. PKT up, like I said, 67%. And next we got Waves up with a 28% bounce, a RNDR up 20%, CRV has curved Dow jumping back above this trend line. So that may be one to keep an eye on if it can hold this trend line. You see last time it pushed for highs of $7. Curve Dow I believe is a part of your in finance. We got Mask, this was one that was up the other day but still you know, way down. Nothing I really like about it. Spells up a little bit, but that's been a big downtrend. Axie Infinity, they've just been eating it since that big hack that they had, unfortunately. And it's starting to get a little rebound today. You know, the hack I don't think was on Axie Infinity itself, but something to do with the chain that it's on or something wallets i don't know because i didn't i didn't follow it that close actually being as big as a project as it was feeling the effects of any type of security breach like any crypto project will even if it is a nft game with a decent player base there is nothing too big to fail so just a lot of green across the board here if you're using the Brave browser and you're earning basic attention token, it's jumped back up to about 65 coming around there trying to test. So not too far below the uptrend. Just need to see it pop back up in there. So there was apparently something going on with a project on the BNB chain or something there. They had some issues, maybe with a hack. But BNB was just going down anyways, but holding that 400 line, holding the support line, it's up 5% today between the downtrend and the uptrend. So we may see a nice move up on Binance Coin over the next few days into the weekend. Shiba tried to throw that wick down there, but they're continuing to burn and burn Shiba, and buyers are coming in right on that quad zero two area that area has now held for over a year as support so that is quite a bit of strong support for it to be holding still now we do want to see it continue to rebound come up and test that quad zero three area where the top of the channel is and the top of the 200 and we might see that bounce happen if everything continues to rebound. All right, so today's project that I want to take a look at is called Strange Clan. This is an NFT project out of the Cosmos ecosystem. Liam from Confident and Crypto has been shining a spotlight on it, so I wanted to take a look at it myself. Graphics here, I don't know if this is actually how the in-game graphics look or anything about this other than what I heard him mention. So it looks like there's a storyline of this. You have fled your homeland because of a strange disease. You must gather what members of your clan you can and forge a path to a town called Paradise. Farm, craft, and quest together, but choose your companions carefully it's dangerous to go alone and then we can see some of the characters here we got a magician i'm not sure what even that is a cat maybe a bard that's an owl farmer which is uh, i don't even remember what those things are called peddler looks like a rabbit hunters a panda and you gotta watch out for those drop bears uh, we got a nice old basset hound as a detective that makes perfect sense mercenary for some reason we have like Rambo of frogs. This frog must have been born in Florida, I'm guessing. And then, <laughs> and then right here is his brother, the alligator, as the fighter. Maybe a crocodile. I don't know. Got an interesting necklace on there. Definitely some very unique artwork to this NFT game compared to quite a bit of the other ones. So 10,000 Genesis characters to be minted. Genesis characters, of course, are always the first characters in a game or project anything that says genesis discover rare and unrevealed characters and classes okay that's interesting infected some characters are infected choose your companions carefully every character will have unique stats of course that's about every game 
And it looks like that's kind of a hint to what they are. Maybe speed, weight, you know, how much they can carry, uh, attack and strength or something, knowledge of maybe spells. And then may, this looks like uh, a carnivore eye, so I'm guessing that is something to do with the hunters. So here is the road map, and we can see the Genesis towns here. Strange clan game will follow a series of towns. We already know about that. Users will discover new characters, classes, and ownable land with each town. The first two towns will introduce the Genesis characters. All other towns will be discovered in game. You'll be able to purchase land within this game, which is something I like when it comes to types of NFT games. Users who discovered the first characters in land will share in the cell. Passage token holders will have the first access to new releases on the marketplace. Here we go. Let's get into the farming. How can we make money off this? Users will farm for resources in a 3D open world using their character. Even before the beta opens, users will passively acquire resources by holding their character. Users who get in on town one will have first access to farming, crafting, of course that's all going to be the same thing, but looks like you can craft items, tools, and buildings from any resources that you farm, and then you can sell the crafted assets as NFTs in the marketplace. That's a really interesting uh, economy function of this NFT game. Questing will happen in seasons with different storylines, enemies, and loot to collect along the way. Create parties. Okay. Oh, there's bosses. There's boss fights in this. Explore the new areas and new characters. Here's the land. Users can own and build on a limited supply of in-game land NFTs. So there's limited supply of the land. The first thousand land plots will be free and users only need to cultivate the land to claim it. All future plots will be discovered in game and purchased from the marketplace. Here is the mounts and companions, so you can find unique creatures. Users from the first two towns will receive exclusive egg airdrops, so this game is doing NFT airdrops. That's one thing about the Cosmos ecosystem. We love our airdrops. Traveler's Guild, users who hold passage token will be a part of the Traveler's Guild. Traveler's Guild members will have access to the exclusive in-game areas. Exclusive Discord and content portal for behind the scenes. Okay, so they got a Discord. Alpha game launch. So users from the first two towns will be eligible for the alpha and beta testing opportunities. Users from town one will be prioritized. The game is being built on Passage Platform which streams high quality graphics from Unreal Engine to browser on any device. So we know about Unreal Engine. So Strange Clan will be built on the Passage Metaverse, a collection of worlds from different brands and creators connected by the Cosmos blockchain and powered by the Akash Network Decentralized Compute. If you've been following me, you know I stake Cosmos Atom and Akash. The Passage team is developing tools to allow other projects to build their own worlds on the same architecture, creating a network of interconnected worlds of entertainment, remote work, gaming, and more. So I'll put this link to the Passage Marketplace in the description. Wow, some of these prices are crazy. If you have a Kepler wallet, it looks like all you got to do is just press approve. Yep, there you go. Uh, let's see here. We got, I mean, 47 Adam. Adam's $20 right now, so that's a thousand dollars for one of these NFTs. Let's see what this looks like up close. Yeah, 940 bucks. Do you have any properties? Nope. Just saying, it's a Strange Clan NFT. We got no offers, no price history, so nobody's buying this guy. This is in beta. Let's see, claim NFTs. I don't think I would have any, but we'll see. I don't have any items to claim. I didn't think so. I did not start staking Juno until after this uh, airdrop, I believe. So, for their minting, it's scheduled. Something is happening here. It says delayed due to network outage. Let me see. Wall is connected to working. Yeah, so they're having a problem on their minting section, or maybe it's just not out yet. Oh, and if you are going to use the Passage Marketplace, you will need a small amount of Juno for gas fees. So on Discord, it looks like they got about 10,000 members. 
All right, so I'm in the Discord. We'll keep an eye on it, and I will try to do a few updates on Oh, wow. Is that how the graphics are going to look in this game? Hold on a second. I didn't catch this. Maybe so. If that's the case with Unreal Engine, it's very possible. But, yeah, this game could be quite the game if it's going to look like that. Appreciate everybody joining me as always. Stay safe out there. Till next time. The pain's in the dark.